Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here I have this question for you guys. We have 1 over 3 times 4 plus 1 times 2 over 3 times 4 times 5 plus 1 times 2 times 3 over 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 and plus dot dot dot. And as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try this. And now let me tell you guys that the answer to this right here is, as we can see, we have the 1 right here and the 6 right here. So it's just 1 over 6. I know, I'm sorry. That was not a legitimate reason for it. <laughs> but let me tell you guys that the answer is 1 over 6. Of course, I'll show you guys the legitimate way to do this. But let me tell you guys that this right here is actually a baby version of the real question that you have sent me on my website. Here is the real question. Let me put this down right here for you guys. We have 17 over 75 times 76 plus 17 times 18 over 75 times 76 times 77. And of course, we keep the same pattern. 17 times 18 times 19 over 75 times 76 times 77 times 78. And of course, how can we do calculate with itself? The plus dot dot dot. Like this. Well, the truth to be told, I did not know how to solve this. Well, as a usual problem solving strategy, I came up with a much easier version of it, and I called this the baby version. And yeah, even though I was able to solve that, but unfortunately, I could not see the connection between the approach I'll show you and this one right here. But it's okay, because I sent this question to Formatica. Mu Prime and also Wuhan, they will have their solutions for you guys. I will have the links to their videos in the description so you guys can check them out. Or you guys can try this first and leave a comment down below and let us know if you guys have any other way to do it. Anyway, I will show you guys how to do the baby version. Maybe it helps. Maybe I just didn't see the connection that I was supposed to see. I don't know. You guys can let me know as well. Here we go. Well, let me just write down a few more terms so you can see some nice cancellations. The certain after. We can cancel this 3 and that. Very nice. Right here, 3 and 3 cancel, 4 and 4 cancel. And right here, we have 3, 4, 5, they all cancel out. Notice that from the third term and after, we only have 3 things in the denominators, right? And they do have a nice pattern. And on the top, everybody has 1 times 2. So we can factor that out. So now, let me just take care of that. I'm going to leave these two, right? I'm just going to leave these two out. So this is, of course, 1 over 12 plus 2 over 60. Of course, that will be 1 over 30 plus, well, let's factor out the 1, of, let's factor out the one times 2 on the top. Let me just purposely put it down as 1 times 2 because maybe that will help to solve this question. I actually don't know. I'm waiting to see mu point solutions for this as well. Right, for Monica and also Wuhan. So, I will just put this down right here. Now, for this ones right here, we can put them in the sigma notation. So, we have the sum because we're adding this up. 4 times 5 times 6. So, I can just let n equal to 5. Just joking. I can let n equal to 4. It would be easier. n equal to 4. And up to infinity, of course. Everybody will have a 1 on the top because I factored that out on the top already. So, 1, one over n. The next term is just one more than that, so one plus that. And this number is just two more than that, so just n plus two. So this is what we have. And this right here is a pretty standard, uh, well, but it's rather difficult, the um, telescoping sum. So this right here is much more doable, right? And we can just do some partial fractions and we'll see some nice cancellation and that will be it. So that's how we will finish this up. And let's finish it and then we'll talk about that right there. Anyway, to do this right here, let me just do the partial fraction for you guys, which is right here. We look at the sum as n goes from 4 to infinity. Well, we have three linear factors, so we have something over n plus something over n plus 1 plus something over n plus 2. In fact, if you want to let n equal to 5, that was okay. You can just do n minus 1, n and n plus 1. Maybe it's easier. I don't know. 
let's just deal with this. Anyway, to figure this number, we will just go back to the denominator of the original. We cover up the same denominator, and we have to ask ourselves, how can we make the n equal to 0? n has to be 0. And you put the 0 into this n and that n, so we get 1 over 0 plus 1 is 1, times 0 plus 2 is 2, so 1 times 2 on the bottom. Therefore, we have 1 over 2 right here. And we'll do the same thing right here. To figure this up, we will have to cover this up. Let n equal to negative 1, though. Putting negative 1 here and here and work it out. We have 1 over negative 1 times positive 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. O in O, we get negative 1. And to figure this out, we will have to come here and cover this up and let n equal to negative 2. Put it here, put it here, we have 1 over negative 2 times negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. All in all, we get positive 1 half, like this. So, that's pretty much it for the partial fractions. And now, let's do the following. Let's put in 4 into the denominator, and then 5, 6, and so on. So we can write out some terms, and we'll see the cancellations. Okay, here we go. First term is 1 over 2 over 4 minus 1 over 5, and then the next one is just plus 1 half over 6. So th this is when n is equal to 4. And of course, we do next when n is equal to 5. Put it here, put it here, put it here. Then we add 1 half over when n equals 6. So this right here will keep on going. And of course, we should also write down the nth term. Well, well, you see that. 1 over 2 over 4, there's nothing we can do, and this and that we can combine, yeah? But check out this diagonal. I almost wanted to say diameter. Anyway, you see 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Minus 1 is 0, and everybody has the same denominator. They can be cancelled out diagonally. Very nice, huh? Likewise, 1 half over 7, this right here, it will also have been 1 over 2 over 7, and then minus 1 over 7, they will also go to zero. You can cancel the you can cancel the diagonals like this. And in fact, this is going to be canceled here as well. Then what we'll do is we take the limit as n goes to infinity. So we'll just have to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And technically I should write down more terms right here, but the deal is this right here, everybody goes to zero, so there's no worry. All in all, we just have to work out this, minus that, plus that. So we have 1 over 8, minus 1 over 5, plus 1 over 10. Work this out, we will get 1 over 40. Right? So this is, of course, just get the fractions done, like that. And now we can come back here and use this result to help us out. So, and of course, in the end, just do your little fractions and all that. All in all, we will end up with 1 over 6. And now, this is more legit, <laughs> but it happened to be 1 over 6. 1 over 6 as well. Anyway, that's it. And let me know in the comment down below to see if you guys have any questions. Or maybe you have a different approach than just this. And in the meantime, you guys can also try this on your own. And also check out Formatica Mu Prime Wuhan's videos. I will have the links in the description for you guys. Okay, as always, that's it.